guys how are you doing today doing well here thank you for asking so today I have something a little different in store I'm not really looking at my miles or anything that I'm riding matter of fact I'm not gonna get probably two miles not real certain but I am in my pretty much my hometown uh, or the town next to my town or whatever you want to say uh, Perrier Tennessee P-U-R-Y-E-A-R -E Tennessee and today is going to be kind of a nostalgic ride I'm only like 10 miles from my home uh, so literally it's still in my same town <laughs> But, uh, yeah, today's more of a nostalgic kind of ride. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about where I grew up and a few of the buildings, uh, some homes, etc. So let's start out with this. Um, I went to this school from kindergarten to second grade. And this school is called Per Your School. As you can see, it looks like crap. It's really sad to see the building look like that. Now, we have a long history here in Perrier. From tons of family to tons of friends. Uh, living here, staying here, etc. And this road right here, beside the school, I think used to go back uh, to the back area where the playground used to be and uh, the kindergarten, I believe the kindergarten building used to be. And I probably should not be coming back here. Some really childish graffiti. Uh, I don't even see. Uh, maybe that's it right there. Yep. That's it right there. That's the walkway. That's the walkway up to the old building right there where kindergarten was and I don't know first grade I'm not real sure even though I was just there for a short period of time and I was quite young I still have fond memories of it and a lot of that has to do with the fact that you know, we might have moved uh, to another area in the county, but we still had our roots here. We still came here all the time to visit family and friends and stay the night with grandma. And all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, we've always had roots here.
that used to be like a part of the playground I guess it was a field set up for like probably baseball and kickball that kind of stuff And we had a friend that lived there. Really through this whole little town. We had friends and family everywhere. So it would be hard to try to remember everyone and plus I don't remember everyone to be honest just lots of memories And right here is a home that some of my friends lived in. Uh, Wanda and Billy Brewer, uh, they had kids. Sean, Dion, Dechelle. And they owned an arcade that they put in here. Right here. Yep. That was where a once great little arcade was. I remember playing my fair share of pool and Pac-Man and Dig Dug and turning on the music on the jukebox and a little I Love Rock and Roll. Yep, there was actually a, at one time, many moons ago, all kinds of little mom and pop stores through here. I remember going there as a kid, and just the most random, random kind of stores. Little old post office. I think at one time, they used to even have the school buses out here at Seems like I remember school buses parked out here, but it's been many moons ago, so I don't remember exactly. I remember out here playing one time with a, a friend. I, I don't even remember his name, but I think we were right here, or we were right here. I think we were right here. We we're doing something and playing with matches or a light or something. I remember my jacket being on the ground on fire. I don't remember what happened. You know how stupid boys are. We do stupid things. Stupid things. I remember us all playing on the tracks. Riding through that green area, right around there, that's been there a long time. And it's 
spent a lot of time riding my bike in that parking lot. This house here is very near and dear to my heart. Let's let this car go by. Oh, this house here. We actually lived in at one point with, I believe she's our cousin. I never could remember, but she went by the name Epity. Her real name was Ethel Jimerson. Somehow or another she got the name Epity and I don't remember the story. But, of course, that whole shed and everything's new or newer. That wasn't there. And the carport's closed in. Carport's closed in. A lot of fun times. A lot of fun memories in that house. Really miss it. When we go down this road here, North Cherry Street. And I had a, a great grandma that had a house down here, plus we had other family down here, but I don't know exactly who they were as far as how they were related to me. I don't remember all that stuff, and it's sad. Hello. But yeah, we kids were up and down this road and all around these roads constantly, constant. My great grandma had a house right here. it's been torn down because that sure don't look like it but my great grandma drank Pepsi old-fashioned Pepsi in the bottle and we would walk right down here We would walk from there just right down to here. This was a little gas station, store, whatever. We would turn in the bottles, uh, however that works. Get money, get more. She was a churchy woman. She was a religious woman. There's a church just over there that she used to go to. I'm not a churchy kind of guy, but still nostalgic. And this neighborhood used to be really nice. We had friends that lived down at the end of the road, the Zooksworths. Yeah, this used to be a really nice old neighborhood, clean, but it's been 
many years. Hello. Every road here, every road here is nostalgic. <laughs> Brings back memories, you know. Uh, just up and down them all the time. And like I said, even when we didn't live here, we were here all the time because we had family here, grandmas and what have you, and had friends. And here's a field that we used to play tag in and football and run around in, what have you. And there used to be a house right here where the Stallings lived, Landon and Toya. And uh, we were kind of on and off friends. You know, they were, you never knew. One day you were friends, the next day they were chasing you. So, <laughs> you know how that goes sometimes with kids. But, uh, yeah, there used to be a house right there. And there used to be a plum tree or an apple tree or something. Because I remember uh, eating the fruit. Pretty much we've been going in circles here around little blocks and stuff. Like I said, it, it, it's a small little country town. And it looks to have nothing. But back in the day, this town was full of life. Lots of life young to old and everything in between uh, didn't matter if it had Walmart and Kmart and big grocery stores and all that stuff what matters is it, it had life And many years ago, we did have a church. We had a little white church that sat right there. And it's one that my family went to like once a month. They only met like once a month. I mean, it was your old school little white church. Didn't even have a bathroom, had an outhouse. I don't think he had heat or air, nothing. <laughs> but we're talking a long time ago. And it blew down or burnt down or whatever excuse they wanted to give. Uh, not the church excuse, but the town excuse. But uh, 
yeah it was old school little white church that you would think of so And that's where I came from, where I parked. I think he's going the wrong way. Since I never come out here, I don't know. I don't know the dogs or anything, so. We have, we have family buried here. And we have some family, I believe, buried up here. I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think we do. Quick little story about this cemetery is me and my sister Rhonda, we were young. I mean, I was maybe three, five, something like that. For whatever reason, we came up here and spray painted some tombstones and we didn't get in trouble oddly enough I don't even think our mom whooped us but uh the cop the policeman that was uh, here in Purrier uh, I remember I mean of course I'm young so I you know, at the time so I barely remember but I remember us walking around up here and talking about stuff and you know I really don't remember what happened uh, like I said I, I'm pretty young to, to have remembered something like that and uh, anyway that's one of the stupid things we did um, as you'll see there's a house right there and then past the house there used to be a trailer goes down that road that gravel road we lived there in that trailer I assume the trailer's gone I believe I've seen that it was gone a long time ago but uh yeah we used to live down there and the old lady that lived in the house that I pointed to that was that's right through there uh, she used to kind of watch us and and stuff like that and I remember of course one of the old stories about me is uh, I took her cane one day and I opened up our trailer door slid it in and ran in and I believe I hid in the shower or something and and everybody was just like confused what was going on and before you know it you, she comes to the door looking for me and so I was a stinker sometimes a little stinker I loved her I remember I remember I loved her but you know how boys are we're stinkers sometimes so yeah this area right here a lot of a lot of memories and there's a, a gully the gully uh, you know big gully is actually right there heck we used to play in the gully so Back in the day, kids used to play where they could play. And that white house right over there, I can't remember the guy's name. It was a black fella, black family. Mr. Kenley, maybe. I really don't remember. But I remember that's where I found my first uh, horrible experience with a dog. 
I was over there skipping around like a little turd in his carport, minding my own business, and I stepped on his dog's tail, and it, you know, got up at me or whatever. It didn't. I don't think it bit me or nothing, but it barked and scared the crap out of me, and I think that's where my uh, dislike for dogs came from. <laughs> and uh, then right down the hill here, right down here, see there's a road. And there's a house down there where some old friends of ours used to live. The Galleons. Freda, Bubba, Susie, and another one that I can't remember. Uh, she was the younger one. We didn't really hang out with her, but of course later in life we got to know her and, you know, was around her some. Um, their mom, Frances, was a wonderful woman who put up with a disgusting... A uh, piece of a crap of a man, from what I understand. They were always dirt poor. Uh, she did everything she could. She was a great person. She died several years back. Um, but yeah, anyway, they were good, good friends. And I, we still run across them from time to time. One little weird memory that I have, of course, remember I was tiny here. I was young. We were down at their house, we were down at their house, and I remember we were running back across the road over here to come home, or we were coming up the driveway, but I think we came uh, up the hill because their house was down at the bottom of that hill, and you could run up, run up like uh, where the all the trees are here. But uh, yeah, we ran up the hill and... and uh, was coming across and I remember running uh, over there in Mr. Kenley's yard and coming around to where our trailer was and I remember seeing uh, rain. Uh, there was rain chasing us. If you've ever seen that before it's kind of cool but I'll always remember that uh, even as young as I was I remember running and looking back and seeing a, a wall of rain behind us. So that was pretty cool. I also got tied up to a tree out here at the trailer two of my sisters Rhonda and Tanya kindly tied me up to the tree tricked me because I always wanted to follow them of course so they said that we were going to play cowboys and Indians or something like that and they tied me up to the tree and they left luckily my older sister Tammy was still at home and I was yelling and she came out there and untied me uh, so that's a funny story and I'm sure there's other lovely stories, but uh, it's hard to remember. Hard to remember all of them. Um, I do remember down the hill, down the road there, and it would be on the it'd be on the right hand side. There was a big bank. Uh, you know, on the side of the road, and it was all sandy and everything. I remember us always playing on that, sliding down and, and all that, but it was nothing but sand, which was kind of strange. Yeah. All this, this brings back so, ma uh, so many memories, guys. You know, time goes by so quick. Walked these roads so many times. Rode my bike up and down these roads so many times. Playing with friends. I wonder. I wonder when I die, will someone come out here and talk about me eventually? You know? kind of wonder about those things interesting tree
trail it's hard to stop right here oddly enough there's traffic in this little town right now So we used to live in a little white house right here. Yep, we used to live, uh, it was white at the time. And there was another old big white house right here. And the Kilpatricks used to have a little house right here. Which I don't know if that's the same house or not, but and they were friends of ours as well. They own Kilpatrick's Daycare. They've had a daycare for many years. Uh, them and my mom were actually good friends as well. And once in a blue moon, they'd get together and go to the discos way back in the day good memories my mom always loved that kind of stuff she never got out much she was a single parent of five kids of course her mom our grandma uh, helped to take care of us as well but you know uh, it was mom 90 percent of the time hard worker Best mom in the world. Miss her to death. And uh, yeah, her and my grandma. They were our they were our lifeline. They loved us and cared about us. Probably more than any grandparent and parent in the world. I'm just gonna say it. Wonderful humans. And the world is lacking that. And I can see that because I see, I see grandparents of today, the younger generation grandparents, most of them are pretty much trash. I don't want to get in too negative of a talk here, but people are not the same as they used to be years ago. And uh, yeah, anyway. Maybe kind of a goofy memory, but a memory nonetheless. Uh, I remember as a kid riding my bike and all that, and coming up here to this little car wash. And in the winter time, the water would be all frozen. Uh, it'd be frozen from the spigot all the way down, and I remember thinking that was so cool. But I remember that. And this little building right here, many years ago, used to be called Polly McCoy's. Me and my grandma would go there once in a while. Of course, we just lived. We were just right down the road here, so very easy for us to do. Boy, they had the best bacon cheeseburgers. Oh, my God. The best bacon cheeseburger. Oh, I remember it. Nice old couple owned it, and they've long since passed. As most everyone has that I know, or knew, or lived here.
Of course, we've already been through here, so it's nothing new. That's where we played the football and tag and all that and people we knew and the buildings over there. But this building right here, I remember getting up on top of that building somehow. <laughs> I don't remember how. We'd get up there and jump off. I remember going up there one time. I believe it was this building. I can't remember. I went up there with an umbrella and tried to float down. I think it slowed me down just a hair before the umbrella broke. I'm just going to say it. That was Mary Poppins for a minute. And I need to tighten up my chain ring or my bottom bracket or something or clean it or throw some oil in there or something. Got a little creek going on. And my sister and her husband lived right there. And my nephew. Well guys, I think I've wrapped up my my little nostalgic tour of my uh, little town here, Perrier, Tennessee. Uh, boy, lots of memories, guys. Lots of memories. You know, I ride around and I think of all the people that have passed and all the things that we did here and all the fun and all the this everything as I'm sure a lot of people do it from time to time 
Mm. And it's just, number one, it, it blows your mind how quick time goes. Number two, kind of blows your mind of you know, what's next, you know? Are you going to have people remembering you? Are you going to have people riding their bikes around some town somewhere thinking of you? It's, uh, life's a tricky little thing, isn't it? Life is beautiful, but life is also, you know, it, it's rough. It's not for the faint of heart. And this is a long video, but that's the way I wanted it to be. I want this video to be meaningful. Uh, to me and to my family if they ever watch it that we might have our differences now uh, we might get on each other's nerves now we might not hang around one another like we used to things change and that's just a part of life but uh, the things that will never change are my memories that I have of all of us being in this town uh, with the friends that we had and the music that we listened to and our grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles and whatever all was here uh, like I said I'm not good with all that who they are and what they are to me and but uh, yeah nothing's gonna take that away no matter what You know, uh, if it wasn't for our mom and our grandma, you know, we wouldn't we wouldn't have had any of these memories, any of these great things that I find so great. Um, you know, this this town is just a shadow of what it was. And as you've seen, there are some cars out there, some stuff going on. There's people out, but it's trashy. It you know, a lot of the a lot of the people flip the little sections of the neighborhood go and it just looks like crap and it's really sad because you know years ago years ago just people were different uh, they had pride in things and people for the most part took care of things especially in this little town it was just one of those little towns that you would see in a book somewhere Again, there was not a whole lot to do, but yet there was everything in the world to do. And some of that stems from being a child and just out here carefree running around, but a lot of it stems from the way people were years ago. There was just always something to do. You weren't just sitting around here bored. Now maybe if you were in your upper teens or something like that, you started getting bored, but... For the most part, it was good. Uh, well, guys, I guess that ends my little tour here. I'm going to head back to the car. It's back that way. At the nursing home where my sister and her husband work. So, I have actually gotten in like five miles. Of course, if you notice in the video, I'm doing a lot of circles and basically going around and around in a lot of same areas but anyway I'm gonna get back to the car and uh, I guess I'm gonna head home today's not gonna be a big ride day mostly just wanted to get out here and do this uh, I think sometimes that's just what the plan calls for so let's get back on the road all right making this sign off quick I'm back at the car fixing to head on home get something to eat and drink and carry on about my day guys i appreciate you watching hope you like subscribe comment share all that good stuff i do all this for free i hope you enjoyed this video it's a little long i know that uh, but it was important for me so everyone get up get out get rad do it to it even on a short ride on a long nostalgic trip we'll see y'all later